Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. God bless you. I just came to encourage you, uh, to encourage someone. I just came to strengthen you today to make you to understand that no matter the challenges, no matter the circumstances, no matter the situations you are going through, no matter the downfalls and the shortcomings that you may have gone through, the Bible says a righteous man shall fall seven times and shall fall, and seven times shall he stand up. A righteous man shall fall seven times and he shall stand up. He shall rise up again. He will rise up again. So will you rise up. You may have fallen. You may have gone against some certain things. You may have done some things that are not worthy, that are not good. But one thing is for certain, one thing is for sure. One thing is clear and one thing is 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 is. It's a fact that God is about to do something great, something mighty, something excellent, something tremendous, something glorious in your life. Hallelujah. In the name of the Lord Jesus. The Lord says for he's about to do something in your life that eyes have not seen. Eyes have not seen. Eyes have not seen. They looked down on you. They insulted you. They said all, thought, all, all sort of things about you. They said you cannot rise up again. There's nothing good that will come out of you. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. They said nothing good will come out of you. The Bible says by a, a man by name called Nathaniel said, can anything good come out of Nazareth? That same place where they said nothing good can come out. The scripture makes us to understand. Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Jesus Christ came from Nazareth. That place that is discussed went about doing good, went about distributing good. They said nothing good will come out of you. Mm, I came today to tell you something greater, something mightier, something tremendous is coming for you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. For the Bible says in the book of First Corinthians chapter 2 verse 9. Mm. First Corinthians chapter 2 verse 9. It says, For the eyes have not seen, nor neither ears heard, that which God has in stock for you. I pray for you today in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. May God shock your enemies. May God shock your enemies. In the name of Jesus. He said, Eyes have not seen. He not, neither nor has ears heard what the Lord thy God has in stock for you, what the Lord thy God has prepared for you. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. For what God has prepared for you is so big. For what God has prepared for you is so glorious. It's so mighty. And no power from the pit of hell will be able to contain it. No manipulation from the kingdom of darkness will, able, will be able to put an end onto it. For it will come to pass. It, it will come to pass and it will show it come to pass for scripture say for he is not a man to lie not a son of man to lie for what he says he will do is what he will do eyes have not seen neither has ears heard what god has in stock for you i pray for you today in the name of the lord jesus christ the name that is above every other name whatever we do whatever the lord has prepared for you it is coming unto manifestation it is coming unto manifestation in the name of jesus christ for the bible says for the endless expectations of men waited for the manifestation Manifestations of the sons and daughters of God, and you be a child of God. Your time of manifestation has come. Your time of upliftment has come. In the name of Jesus, your time of celebration, your time of divine breakthrough, your time of divine manifestation of God's glory has come. In the name of Jesus Christ, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit of the Living God. Let your name and your name alone be glorified. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, reveal yourself unto your people. Reveal yourself unto them. No matter the challenge, never give up, for God has never given up upon you. God has never given up upon you. For what he's about to do will shock your enemies, and your enemies will not be able to explain. They won't be able to explain that which God is about to do. Hallelujah. For what God is about to do is greater, mightier, beyond that which man could ever think or expect in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. You are blessed and you are favored and you are lifted in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Stay blessed and may God bless you. Shalom.